Hi everyone, it's February 2nd, 2013. My name is John Hansconnect. What you're looking at here is my own design of a miniature six degree of freedom motion platform. This is often called a Stewart platform or a Go platform. Sometimes called a hexapod, but uh, supposedly that name is trademarked and it's also confused often with these walking six-legged robots. I've designed my platform to position a small optical element through which a laser beam is passing. You can see in my rendering that the laser beam is represented by a blue line and it's passing through a uh, pockel cell, which is an optical element and it's which is would be mounted on top of this Stuart platform. For size reference, I've put a 9 volt battery in the image and uh, the laser beam is at 5 and a quarter inches above the tabletop. Now as it's designed, this should be able to achieve sub-micron position accuracy and repeatability. It's presently designed to run open loop with stepper motors and a single home position on each motor, but one could easily add rotary encoders on the stepper motors uh, or linear LVDTs or some other feedback mechanism. So now let's get this thing into motion. We'll roll up to a top view and then we'll first start off and show you a y, uh, Z motion which wouldn't really be needed in a laser configuration but there's the motion for Z forward and back. There's a Y. I'm sorry that's X side to side and we'll roll down to a laser view we're going to give you the X again give you a Y so these are pure translations X Y here's a pure translation roll and a pitch centered on the cell and a yaw so before I started on this design, I looked uh, for a commercially available product but found them to be too large for my application or not enough motion uh, in the smaller versions. I also found that they cost about $12,000 for the platform and about $30,000 for the controller. I think the research community needs a more affordable alternative. Uh, and it's my intent to release this design as an open source license free alternative. Uh, that can be built probably for less than three thousand dollars. So now we're looking down at uh, the base and uh, the design of this is remarkably simple. It uses a non-captive NEMA 8 stepper motor and normally in a non-captive uh, configuration the motor would be fixed and a lead screw is allowed to push uh, out either side of the motor as the uh, gland nut inside the uh, motor spins. But I've taken an opposite approach where I'm going to uh, fix the lead screw in the uh, aluminum end blocks and the center block seen there. And uh, as the gland nut rotates, the entire motor itself will move forward and back. The uh, pitch on this lead screw is 0 0.00006 inches per revolution of the motor. Uh, so with 200 steps per revolution, you've got uh, some pretty darn fine uh, resolution. Now this entire uh, motor is kept from spinning because uh, it's in an assembly that's riding on some hardened steel rods. You can see them there. They look like they're chrome plated. Uh, there is the uh, carriage that holds the motor. It uh, has uh, some bearings, linear bearings inside. Um, for traveling along the steel rods and then the uh, NEMA 8 motor mounts inside. So here we have an actual view of the uh, NEMA 8 stepper motor. You can see uh, the shaft is allowed to free float through the motor uh, as I described earlier. And the final piece of the puzzle is the, uh, the uh, universal joint assemblies. These are uh, magnetic universal joints. Uh, the ball is made out of steel and uh, the magnet is a neodymium magnet mounted in the uh, brass holder. Uh, they get full motion in any direction uh, without any slop at all because that magnet is pulling the steel with about 10 pounds of force. So it should uh, make for a very tight 
machine. So this kind of concludes my uh, presentation. I've posted this to YouTube in an effort to get this uh, open source project off the ground. And I'd like to enlist the uh, assistance from others out there who might be able to help. Uh, I have a good start for a machine that can be built pretty much as it is, or it could be modified in size. Imagine if we uh, scaled the universal joints up to the uh, size of CV joints in a car. That would be a rather interesting machine. Uh, anyway, I don't want to own or lead the project. I would actually like someone else to host this and let it grow. So I'm hoping I, uh, that this video can be invited into a community of like-minded developers, and I can provide the, um, the uh, part files for uh, construction of how it exists now. Uh, I'm going to start the initial motion control with Linux CNC. But I hope, uh, and I would certainly encourage people that uh, are skilled with LabVIEW motion control or other programs to uh, develop an open source controller that perhaps could be dropped into a DSP. Uh, I'll be watching and responding to the comments or private messages uh, sent on YouTube. All right. Have a nice day. Thank you.